Well, we certainly need to address the financial stability and uh, investor protection issues. But as we say in the chapter, you know, there are deeper structural issues. Um, for example, uh, the role of stable coins, which are very central in, in this ecosystem, um, uh, sort of tells us that, you know, the, the whole system is in search of a nominal anchor. Uh, so if central bank money didn't exist, it would need to be invented, as it were. The more serious problem is the fragmentation of the crypto universe, uh, which means that uh, crypto cannot serve the purpose of money in the sense that it doesn't uh, you know, recreate this virtuous circle uh, from greater acceptance to, to greater use. We see it as the fusion of new capabilities uh, around the core of the trust provided by central bank money itself. Um, in the chapter, we use the metaphor of a tree where you know, the range of services provided by banks and other intermediaries um, are supported by the solid trunk of a tree, uh, you know, which represents a, the central bank itself. And in this sense, the services, you know, which come from the tree, are rooted uh, in a figurative sense in the ultimate settlement on the central bank balance sheet. Well, new capabilities are things like uh, decentralization, uh, smart contracts, and composability, uh, you know, which are the functions that are known uh, in crypto. But what we show is that all of this can be built around the core of uh, you know, central bank money so that we have the best of uh, both the conventional system you know, and the new capabilities. <laughs> 